Liverpool, two sides at the top end of League One going head to head today. You came out on the, the wrong side of the, the 2 1 scoreline. What are your thoughts having just come out of the dressing room? Yeah, obviously disappointed. Uh, I thought first half we were poor, is probably the nicest way to put it. I just didn't think we had any real personality on the ball. However, what I would say is Barnsley, uh, you know, young team, very young team, athletic team, and they just come after you. And every time we had it, they pressed us, pressed us. We went sideways and backwards a bit too much for me. And then we never made anything sort of happen. It's, it's obviously awkward. Um, we don't have a natural nine, so there's no sort of like focal point really. So I just felt we've struggled to really keep the ball. Uh, and like I said, that's credit to the opposition. They didn't sit off us and let us have it. They they came after us. So we struggled, struggled with that really. And... Um, you know, in, in games, I just said to the lads, in games, sometimes you play with a three. Um, it gives you a bit more uh, defensive stability, but you lose something somewhere else. And that's what it felt like today. I didn't feel like, you know, they hit a scream the first half. But apart from that, I don't really think they did anything on our goal. So defensively, you feel sound, but you don't feel like you can you can get a goal and get a second goal, really, um, which is disappointing. And then second half, I thought we were significantly better. And then, ironically, they score on the back of our good bit of play. I thought we then started to look like we had a bit of control and we controlled most of the second half, it felt like. Um, but we didn't really create any guilt edge chances. That's sort of my very long answer. So I appreciate the fans staying with the team. I think you can see how much effort there is and how much character there is to try and win it. You've got Sonny going on an overlap. You've got Kane getting the ball and running at him. You've got like people playing out of position because... You know, in the end, we had a few issues to deal with. and So I love the team for that. They just kept going, kept going, kept going. But, you know, today wasn't our day. And hopefully we bounce back Tuesday night and it's our day at home. I felt that you were poor in the first half, but you got your noses in front as well, which I would imagine is what you say to the players regularly about you can be poor in games, but you can get yourselves ahead with a set play. Yeah, yeah, we yeah we uh, uh, looked uh, a threat on, on set plays, to be honest. So that, that was pleasing, but... When I say poor, we're not actively going out to play poor. I just didn't think we ever strung more than three or four passes together. And, you know, it was two teams, it was tense. It felt like neither uh, It felt like neither team wanted to lose as opposed to either team wanted to win. So it just felt like we were playing with a little bit inside ourselves first half. But, yeah, um, I thought we'd scored the set piece before. Cash got one, you know, tipped off the uh, top corner, really, it looked like. So that was disappointing. Um so, yeah, get going 1 0 up was great. And then, obviously, to concede from a screamer is a bit of a uh, dirty pill to swallow. And then, obviously, concede, pardon me, off, um, off a corner, which isn't like us. But credit to them, it's a good ball in, a good run, and he's hit it perfect. So, and I just kept thinking, like, a goal's coming. I never thought we weren't going to equalise, and we made as many changes as we could. We changed the shape, and, you know, game changes came on and had a real positive impact. But we just, you know, today, I, I think. You know, I'm not looking at stats and all that, but it just felt when we left the at the final whistle, I think a draw would have been a fair result. I don't think there was much between two uh, pretty good teams. So obviously a disappointment in terms of not getting anything today. You've got two games at home now th- this week and chance to dust yourselves down and go again because you've said regularly, shock horror, points are going to be dropped uh, yeah, yeah. in the next well, couple it, of yeah. weeks. The lads in the dressing room then, like, you know, once the adrenaline runs out of you, like boo-hoo, you, get, you play again in three days' time, you just got to pick yourself up and go again, like, you know. You can't do nothing about the game now apart from hopefully learn from uh, learn from it. But there's you know there's no point sulking about it. You just got to between now and the end of the season, you got to get I don't know nine or ten wins maybe. If you get two in the next week, then you you're in a better place. But it's not like we've come here and been like you know humiliated or we can't get anywhere near anything. It didn't feel like that. It just felt really close. And sometimes it comes down to the smallest of margins. They you know we have a set piece we need to score off. There's one could have gone over the bar and, you know, it's a one-all and you think everything's all right. But I don't think it's a great deal wrong. I, I, but I do feel that, you know, maybe uh, maybe I got the uh, the shape wrong first half. But I, I like the three. I like having Sonny in the middle. It gives us a, a good defensive stability. But without a, a number nine, I think we sort of lack. So hopefully we can try and get the balance right for Tuesday night. Get Dwight Gale out there. You've got about half an hour in his legs. Yeah, yeah, good to get Dwight out. I mean, we automatically look better once there's a nine who's in the middle of the pitch and it allowed uh, Nat to sort of wander where he wanted to go. Tom Barkhausen went on and was a handful as well. And, 
like uh, Kane was a, a complete nuisance down this right wing as well. So there's some really good things, and it's just, a, as always, you, you're blighted by the scoreline. You, you know, you're judged by the scoreline, obviously, but like the lads kept going to the end, which I like. I like the character. They don't want to lose and keep going to the final whistle, but unfortunately today we just didn't get that goal late on.